please welcome Oliver Platt. Thanks for coming. My pleasure. You know, I, I must say it, it, it's a pleasure to meet you because you're one of these actors I have watched for years. And I, I feel like I discovered. I saw you in, in a part, and the next part was bigger and bigger. And of course, now you're starring in films with Warren Beatty and all this kind of. Do you get that a lot? Do people come up to you and, and I know you? It's uh, it's anything from you know, loved your last movie to you know, you <laughs> you are were in my macrame class. Yeah. <laughs> Everything in between. Yeah. <laughs> I met your wife backstage. So now you're having, a, you're having a baby, another baby as well, right? That's right. My wife is six months along. Oh, there you go. There you go. How, uh, okay. how many do you have? Do you have three? I have two. Okay. okay. It'll be three. So how old have you got? George is going to be two in February. Okay. Lily is four, will be five in April. Okay. Now, does she understand what daddy does? Is this it's, you know, it's a touch and go thing. The whole kind of fantasy reality thing at four o'clock, at, at, four, at four, four years old is a little, right. little, you know, still working it all out. Um, <laughs> and so we try and find times to introduce situations, to introduce the whole, you know, idea of make believe and this is what daddy does. And, right, right. And uh, the other night we had uh, my, my friend Stanley Tucci and oh, his, yeah. his kids over yeah. and when we were playing charades. And, and we thought, oh, this is a really great opportunity. Because sure. Stanley and I made this movie, a children's movie called Beethoven, where we oh, played. Oh, the dog, yeah. That's right. Beethoven movie, sure, sure. That's right. You guys were the, you were the bad guys. Yeah. We, we, um, we played these kind of sub moronic dog catchers <laughs> in, uh, in Beethoven. And we thought, this will be great, because she was really getting into charades. And we said, now we'll pop a movie in. She can see how, how you know, Stanley and Daddy are pretending. Sure. And this will be a nice way to kind of explain what goes on. Yeah. But, you know, we popped it in. She wouldn't have. Any of it. He's like, Dad, what happened to those puppies? <laughs> I feel like an evil yeah, guy. Exactly. <laughs> what happened to the puppies? Where are they now? <laughs> what did you and Uncle Stanny do to the puppies? I mean, that's very odd because people don't. My mother never understood. I thought my mother understood what I did when I started in this business. I'm a comedian. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I, I'm in the kitchen. I, mean, I hear my mom in the other room talking on the phone to her sister, my Aunt Nettie. And she says, well, Jamie, that's what they call me. Well, Jamie does little skits from town to town. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, like, I love, you know, like, a, like I'm the village fool. I do little skits. Now, now where's your family? In New York? Uh, yeah, we live in New York. Yeah. Now, is that hard when you work out of state? I mean, do you, do you bring them all? Well, they come out rarely. I find we have such a, getting to be such a large, large group, it's, yeah. it's, I put more energy into going home. So you get to go home a lot? You get to go home a lot, yeah. And I, I usually take the red eye. Which is great. It's it's got a, it's a plus and a minus situation. The good thing is I kind of flying east, I gain, you know, a day. Oh yeah. Sure. The bad news is that when I get there, I'm walking around, you know, like a zombie. Right, right. But my children love this because they have, you know, they have evolved a highly developed sense of like when they can com completely have their way with their father. Right, right, right. And so I gotta be very careful about dozing off, you know, stuff like that. The, uh, last weekend I was home and uh, I was reading a story and I dozed off. I woke up, I was wearing a, a plastic Spanish conquistador helmet. <laughs> I, had, I, had, I had butterfly and Care Bear stickers on my stomach. <laughs> and my, my left foot was being painted with a robin's egg blue speckled nail polish. Oh, really? That's, yeah. Like your gold? Yeah, exactly. Uh, is it still blue? Jay. Is it still blue? Can we see it? It doesn't come off so easy, this stuff. Can you, do, do you have to, is it still on there now? Show us, take off your shoe, let me see. <laughs> Only for you, Jay, and the National Tonight Show audience. What a good looking foot. Look, there it is right there, there you go, look at that. Uh -oh. walk around here with open-toed sandals. Yeah, yeah. Right, no, it's a little, sorry about that. Now, what are you doing? Now you're shooting a film with uh, Liam Neeson. He's another great actor, by the way. I, great I actor. I enjoy him, too. Great actor. Now, are you what? guys, like, serious? Is that... <laughs> you just, you're playing with your foot now? Yeah, I'm playing my foot. I'm yeah. just going to hang out like this. <laughs> look against... Does it look better against the black square or the blue square? You know, I like it with the blue. I think it's more... The blue, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. 
No, Liam, Liam is a... Uh, he seems like a very Shakespearean guy to me. He seems like... A lot of people, a lot of people think yeah. that Liam is this incredibly serious guy, and the truth could not be further away, frankly. I mean, yeah, he's yeah. a very serious actor, yeah, yeah. but he's a complete goofball. And the biggest problem that we're having making this movie right now is that we make each other laugh all the time, which is not necessarily so... It's just kind of... It's a comedy, but it's very dark, and we're playing these two guys who are, you know... You're supposed to think we could kind of kill each other, you know, yeah, any yeah. second, and he's undercover, and I'm a... A hitman, and we can get. It's like you know, they say action, and for like a couple seconds, like yeah, 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 that's like hee hee hee. Cut. It's it's really fun for the crew, you know, with the first uh, you know first couple times. Yeah. The other night that we were shooting this uh, a car scene, right? Night shooting, we we're being dragged, you know, around the city block, over and over, trying to get this three-word scene out. And, you know, like I say, it's fun for the first couple times, but after a while, it's like you know. What was the three words? Take 99, can we please go home soon, you morons, you know? <laughs> but it's like church, it's like giggling in church. Well, you, you can't can. help yourself, that's right. Yeah, you the more you try not to do yeah, it, yeah. you're... you're Put the gun down, Bob! That's right. <laughs> you know, that's exactly. Right. <laughs> now, tell me now, you work with Warren Beatty. Now, he seems like a very intense guy. He seems like that sort of... A folk, like when he's here, he's like this. He's focused all yeah, the time. Yeah, but he's also it. unexpectedly incredibly playful, too. I mean, he gets turned on by the process of... Of filmmaking, and he has, yeah. and you know, he, what Warren gets busted a lot for doing, you know, too many takes. People think, oh, Warren does like 800 takes. Right, right. But he, you know, he does like 10 of that are his idea, and then he does, you know, hopefully gets turned out by, by what you're doing, and 10 for you, and then, you know, I don't know, the craft service guy gets to, you know, do 10. Take one, sure. But the fun thing is, that he, what he always used to do is after everybody, you know, the craft service guy, the, you know, the drivers all got their input, he'd always come up to me and say, okay. Ollie, I'm gonna blow this one out your ass. When you look at him. Now, is that a technical term in directing? That's, a, I'm not, again, I'm not. <laughs> That's a, it's an actor's studio term. <laughs> actor's yeah. studio. Yeah, I guess my dad was in the actor's studio. Right. Oh, was yeah, he? Really? Used to say that to me all the time. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen. Congratulations on, on the movie being re-released as thank well. You. Oliver, thank you. Thank you. Oliver, thank you. We'll be right back with Kurt Franklin and New Nation right after this.